Hello ladies and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So one of the questions I get a lot is what do you do to have great skin? Um, for me personally, like what is my um, strategy for great skin? And I've talked about this a little bit on different shows and I thought today I would really show you the vitamins that I take. Um, I don't can't show you all of them, I take a lot, but I'm gonna show you the ones that specifically really target my skin. I'm gonna show you the skincare that I use. I'm gonna talk about the lifestyle that I lead um, that really benefits this. And then I'm gonna do a five minute makeup, okay? So this is really like a lot piled in one. So be ready to see a lot of products. I'll put links down below. Some of the products you can't get because I get them through a naturopath. So just be aware of that. But at least you'll have an idea of um, what I what I do. And I think we all have our different strategies. Um, I hope some of these are helpful to you. Um, I think I've got some good advice for you today. Um, so before we get started, please visit, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com and use the code SB10 uh, for 10% off any sale that you, any, anything that you buy on my site. Um, some of the products I use today are on my website, not everything. I'll explain that. So let's get going. Okay, so to get started, we got to talk about what we're drinking, right? So I'm on to coffee this morning. This is kind of early in the morning when I'm filming this, so I still have my coffee. And I've got this cute little lid cover. Isn't this adorable? Um, some friends of ours, I used to live in um, Singapore. and uh, For five years, I lived in Singapore. And so my our friends in Singapore, I say our, I'm divorced now, but they sent it to both of us, which was really, really cool. And they're these little cool lid covers, and mine has a penguin on it. And it's green, which is one of my favorite colors. I love green. So I've got a little penguin. Isn't that adorable? I don't know if we get these in the U.S., but I love them. So, and then I've got coffee, so. So I want to talk about, to start off with, um, if you're going to have great skin, it really starts from your self-care. Um, I'm a firm believer, and I have a lot of emotion behind the statement, but I believe that the key to women being powerful um, in their life is self-care is putting themselves as the top priority. And we really flinch at this. We think, no, our family should be first or um, God should be first. You know, we kind of have sort of a, you know, a lot of uh, struggles around this subject. Now, I'm not gonna argue the spirituality part. I do think spirituality um, is incredibly important. Um, I what, what I'm talking about is a healthy um, self-worth and a healthy self-care. So whatever that looks like for you, however you want to strategize that so it makes sense for you. Um, for me, I don't, I don't have lists in terms of, you know, okay, first it's God, then it's me, and then it's my kids. You know what I mean? I kind of take it like, um, what are the most valuable things? What are my top values? And I go according to a value system. Um, in any case, my value, one of my, my very top values is taking care of myself. Because if I go down, guess what? Everybody goes down because I run the show, right? So my value is me. And that includes spirituality and, you know, all the things that that encompasses. I'd love to hear from you how, what you think about what I'm talking about. I think this is a really crucial thing. It's like, I could do a whole video on this one subject, right? But I do want to hit on it because I think it's super important as older women that we figure out what are our values. And how are we going to take care of ourselves? And I really believe women's empowerment, women being powerful and holding our own and being, um, uh, you know, a, kind of the, the movers and the shakers of the world, which we are, um, is to take care of ourselves. So this is such an important thing. Um, so I'm going to talk about what I do. I take, um, uh, I have a naturopath and I'll put her link down below. Um, who's been helping me for about the last four years. And I would say it's had a dramatic effect on my health. Um, and in particular, my skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body. Um, please watch some of my interviews with Ben Fuchs, who created the Truth Treatment skincare line that I carry on my website. Um, that to me is the best skincare line I've ever used. I say that unabashedly and I've used, I don't know how many. It's terrifying to admit how many skincare lines I've tried. His is um, absolutely, I love it, I love it. <laughs> he has his own lab where it's made it's he doesn't go to one of these big houses that makes skincare like most lines i mean most of it is just complete um you know crap like everybody goes to the same houses and have their stuff made right he actually has formulated it so it's really good quality um it is more pricey because it's got great ingredients in it i will talk about that more later but um, but his, our conversations on health and nutrition are incredible. And if you saw what was in front of me now, you'd laugh so hard. I have like all these vitamins and <laughs> I'm like really crowded. 
Okay, so to start with with supplements and vitamins, um, I for skin specifically, skin oils are the most important thing you can take for your skin. Oils and vitamin C, I would say. So I'm going to share with you. This is one of the oils I take every day. Try EFA. I don't think you can get a hold of this unless you have a naturopath, but I think um, it's worthy to talk about it anyway. These are gels. These are gel caps. Um, and these are omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9, the essential fatty acids. I take four of these a day. Okay, so each tablet has 800 milligrams of flax, 800 milligrams of borage, borage and 800 milligrams of fish oil. I take four of these a day. That's a huge amount of oils I take every day. And literally, I wake up and my skin is emollient because I think I take so many of these oils. Especially as menopausal women, you need like twice the oil of a normal person um, because our bodies start to really deplete in oil. Um, another great thing I take here is some enzymes. These are gut enzymes because your gut is your other brain, your second brain. Um, if your gut is in good condition, your skin is in good condition. So many skin ailments stem from our guts being you know, uh, all messed up. And our guts are messed up because there's so many chemicals. There are 50% more chemicals in our food today than there was in the 1970s. So that's a huge statistic. And I, um, I have had stomach issues for the last 12 years because I believe because of all the chemicals and I have an incredibly sensitive body. I'm just, I'm a sensitive is what they call people like me. So I, I, I'm very, uh, I, you know, emotionally sensitive, physically sensitive. So I have to really be, take really good care of my guts. Um, these are super enzymes. I, I take two of these a day. I take one at breakfast and one at lunch. Um, these are just loaded with, with, um, gut enzymes. I'm not going to go into all the ingredients. Um, I also take, um, vitamin E. So this vitamin E, I take one of these a day. So this is, um, you know, vitamin E is wonderful for the skin as well. I mean, I, I take <laughs> the amount of oils I take. It's like, I should be floating away. I also take organic flax oil. So another type of oil, another type of flax oil. I take about a tablespoon, one to two tablespoons, tablespoons of this a day. It's a liquid. Um, so this is huge. I actually put this in my oatmeal every morning or my smoothie if I make a smoothie. Um, this is my vitamin C. So this is a thousand milligrams. I take three of these a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I take 3000 milligrams a day. Hello, of vitamin C. This is huge. This is huge. This is probably one of the biggest single things you can do to affect your skin. Your skin is going to dramatically change with higher levels of vitamin C. It also helps to combat all of the chemicals in the air. We have enormous amounts of aluminum in the air here. Um, I won't go into why that is, but um, enormous amounts in our food. I mean, it's just, the, it's incredible what we have coming at us. So vitamin C is really going to help with that. Um, I also take black seed oil. So see how many oils I take? Like, it's crazy, right? Like five different types of oils. Black, so I take a tablespoon of this with a little bit of honey. It helps to activate it. I take one in the morning. Um, I actually probably could take more of this. I think it's great. What black seed oil does, it's great for swelling. So if you have swelling from menopause or even just um, swelling in your skin under your eyes, you know, I get puffy around my eyes. That really helps with that. I know, crazy, right? And here's, <clears throat> here's kind of a, you know, an unusual thing to bring up, but I'm going to bring this up is iodine. So this is Lugol's, L-U-G-O-L-S, Lugol's iodine. So our bodies are depleted in iodine. If you don't believe me, <clears throat> go to Dr. Um, David Brownstein's website. I've got the link down below. Um, and he is the one of the main researchers in the country with iodine. Um, <clears throat> he says 90% of the people that come into his office are depleted in iodine. And we were taught Back in the 1960s and 70s, oh, but there's iodine, I think it's 60s, I might have the year wrong, years wrong on that, that there's iodine in our salt, therefore we're covered with iodine. Well, that worked when there wasn't as many chemicals in our foods. But now the chemical ratio has gone so far up that putting iodine in your salt basically does nothing. Plus the salt that it's put in is um, the minerals have all been taken out of that salt. It's refined salt. So don't like it's useless basically. So I take iodine. Now, how many, how much of this you take really is really a naturopath or somebody who's educated in iodine. Um, I take quite a lot of this. I take um, uh, six drops in the morning and four drops at night. So I take a lot and this is 5%. So it's very strong iodine. Along with that, the more iodine you take, you have to actually take proper salt. So this is the salt I use, Celtic sea salt. 
So this is unrefined. See how what that looks like? It's the chunky unrefined salt with all the minerals intact. If you refine salt, you take out all the minerals. So it's kind of useless. Salt is incredibly important. Um, I'm not going to go into, you know, people who have high blood pressure and different illnesses with their with salt intake. A lot of times that's because they're not getting enough salt, but I'm not going to go into that. I think look at Dr. Brownstein's work, um, read some of his books. I think he's really on to something. I've upped my iodine and my salt intake, and believe it or not, I feel freaking amazing. It's really helped, especially my thyroid. It's really had a huge impact. So that's what I do. Um, I hope that's helpful. All right, so we're going to move now into um, other areas to help take care of your skin. So other areas that will help you take care of your skin, not just taking a lot of oils, but also eating a plant-based diet. In other words, the number one thing on your plate is vegetables. I do a lot of grilled vegetables, a lot of steamed vegetables, especially especially things like kale and radishes and um, like really rich, dense um, vegetables. I do, I don't do, I'm not a big salad person, so I do a lot of grilled vegetables, which I love. And I just chop up a bunch of vegetables, as many bright colors as I can put on one uh cookie sheet and I put olive oil or avocado oil or something and then some of the lovely Celtic salt on top of it and just bake it for like on like 400 for I don't know maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes depending on how dense the vegetables are oh my god it's delicious if you haven't done this do it um, or I steam them so that's your number one you should get about um, four cups of vegetables a day which is a lot of vegetables um, I probably do like five cups or six cups sometimes like that's how many vegetables I eat that will change your life. It will change your skin. It will change your body. It's huge. I highly recommend that. Um, I have my little cheat sheet over here. Um, so the other thing I would say to help with your skin is exercise. Obviously, get out, move your body, get get your get all of your energies moving, move, you know, the toxins out of your body. Um, whatever you do, you know, I'm sure you do something, figure something out. I do a mixture of yoga and running and weights and hiking and biking and I'm like doing it all, honey. So, you know, get out there, do some exercise every single day, do something every day, honestly, for like 30 minutes. It's great. You'll feel great. Um, the other thing I would say is meditation. I talk a lot about meditation. It's just getting calm um, so that you can hear your own voice um, and hear the voice of God. If you're spiritual, go into that. Um, but, you know, meditation to me is huge. It's very, very important, especially the calm, the calmingness that that brings along. So, um, OK, so let's go into skincare. So let's take a sip of coffee and talk about skincare. The other half of, okay, we got the internal, now we're going to do external with our skin. Um, so obviously my favorite brand of skincare is Truth Treatment Skincare. I love this. So this is what I use every day. I use the Hyaluronic Honey Cleanser um, every morning, uh, or every night, excuse me. In the morning, I just splash my face with cold water. I actually don't even wash it. You don't need to. Skin's not dirty. Saves on product, believe me. Um, okay, so the other thing I do is every day I do my... Um, Truth Trifecta, so I talk a lot about this. Um, so this is a mixture of hyaluronic mineral hydrator, the biomimetic mist, which helps the efficacy of the product, and the C serum. I do two drops of each of these, mix it together in my hand, put it all over my face, around my eyes. I actually don't use eye cream. Um, I don't use night cream, day cream. <laughs> I just do this, okay? Um, I do that in the morning. It plumps up the skin. Hyaluronic mineral hydrator is awesome to just plump up your skin. If you feel like, you know, uh, the lines, right? We start to get more liney, which I'd love and welcome my lines. I'm honestly, I'm not negative about it at all, but I do kind of want to plump them up sometimes. So this is how I do it. And then um, actually that's enough hydration for me. Um, in the morning. I actually don't need anything else. Um, at night, I wash my face and I do, I don't do the trifecta. I do my omega-6 healing cream. Look, this is really loved here. <laughs> but this is omega-6 healing cream. This is so awesome. It's so healing and so hydrating. It's very dense. If you don't like a really thick um, emolliency, I would say use the um, the Truth Balm, which is a little bit less than less uh, emollient, but um, so it's a little bit more mid range. Just depends on you. I like to go to bed with just my skin super hydrated, um, and then I also use the retinol gel on my. Uh, I use it like two or three times a week on my. This is five percent, by the way, which is super strong. Um, if you are sensitive at all on your skin, start with the one percent. Um, but I have an age spot, and then I put it right through here. I don't use it everywhere. I just put it. I kind of spot treat like where I want to use it. Um, I've noticed a big difference. It's huge. Like I think within the first month, I was like, holy cow, like it really helped. And then once a month, I give myself a facial. I'm an esthetician, so I actually can um, give myself a facial. I do a peel. Um, right now I'm using Image. 
um, which you can only get this from an esthetician. Um, Truth Treatments also makes peels, but um, this is the one I'm finishing up right now. So I do this, I leave it on for about five to six minutes every month. I do it once a month and then it peel, it gets sloughs off all the dead skin, really keeps my skin um, like refreshed, helps to refresh it, right? So that's what I do. That's my skincare. I hope that's helpful. Please let me know your questions with skincare. We are going to move into makeup. That's next on my list. So you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so how do you make your skin look great using makeup? So I use, uh, Jane Iredell is my favorite makeup brand that I use personally. Um, and I use this product here called Smooth Affair. And we are going to do a five minute makeup. So this is what I do every single morning um, because I don't wear a lot of makeup to the studio. I'm a professional makeup artist. I work in television studios or on photography sets. Um, and in here in Colorado. Um, so this is what I do every morning. I don't, when I show up at a studio, it's not about me. It's not about me looking good. It's about everybody else looking good. So I'm super duper minimalistic. I look very minimal. My, I, everything about me is, it's not about me, but this is what I do. Okay. Um, but so I use the, this is the primer. So primer is great. Keeps your makeup on. Also helps your skin to look kind of dewy and pretty, which we want that. So I just use this all over my skin. Then I'm going to put foundation on. Yeah, I put foundation on most days, actually. This is the Jane Iredell Liquid Minerals. Love this product. These are all clean beauty. I'm very into clean beauty. Um, so I actually just put it on my hand and then my face. You have to break the granules in it because it's just like these little granules. And it puts a medium, light to medium coverage which is really important. As you take care of your skin, your skin looks good. You just want a light coverage foundation. You don't want a lot. And some of you are in a habit of putting like a medium to full coverage and it doesn't look good, okay? It's too much makeup. As you get older, you really don't need that much makeup. It's all about sheer. I think we get attached to, um, looks and products that don't serve us that aren't really don't make us look good we get attached to that uh, i me included so i think it's really important to uh just constantly revisit that and try new things and and take a risk right um this is the jane iredale concealer so this one down here takes out the red and that's a like a highlighter so i'm only using this where i need it I actually put concealer all over my eyelid because I have hyperpigmentation up on my eyes and it helps to diminish that. Although I never try to fully cover it, I'll be honest with you. So I have cover up on, I have a little bit of highlight through here, a little bit of highlight underneath my eyes and concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a tiny bit of powder. This is my Dior, very sheer powder because my skin is so hydrated. If you don't have any oils in your skin, like if your skin is very dry, don't use powder, not necessary. All right, so then I go into a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use the Mocha blush here. This is Jane Iredell. And I'm gonna use it as kind of a contour and a blush. Okay, a little bit of a brow. I have pretty good brows, so um, I'm just gonna extend it a little bit. For some of you, you know, you have to fill in your brows entirely. And that would be really important. But I just extend it. Just gives it a little bit more oomph. Okay, lipstick. I do eyes last. This is a MAC color. And I do put lip liner on. Every morning. Helps it stay on. All right, lastly, I do eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna use um, a color here. This is Solar Flare. So that's the palette of Solar Flare. These are all iridescent. So if you don't like iridescent colors, this is <laughs> not for you. But if you like them, I'd say a little bit of this is good. I think a little bit of iridescent is okay. I really do. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. Pull it up. I do a very, very light amount, okay? So I'm just tapping it into the product and then I tap it on my hand to get rid of a lot of the goopiness of it, you know, because all product is kind of like that. Not goopy, but it's too much. 
and then I just use kind of this brush, a really soft brush, and I pull it up. So it's just soft and pretty, right? Not a lot. All right, then I put a little bit in my waterline. So this is MAC Kajal. Um, I think it's Kajal or is it Technicolor? Technicolor liner, okay? Kajal, it's also called Kajal. So we're gonna put this, it's waterproof and I put it just underneath my lashes here. And then sometimes I'll go a little tiny bit up here on the outside kind of between my lashes, just to bring out that outer edge just a bit. And because this is waterproof, it'll dry and it'll stay on. I know I pull my eye, whoever yelled at me about that last time online. <laughs> I know. All right, then I'm gonna do mascara. And if I have like a minute left, <laughs> I'll just take a little bit of this dark brown right here on the end. Just put a tiny bit on that outer edge. And that is my five minute makeup along with how to take care of your skin. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, please write down below. I'd love to hear what you do um, to take care of your skin, suggestions you might have. Maybe we can get into a discussion around some of the sub products that I've shown you. Some of these are kind of controversial, what I said about iodine. Um, so I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and take care of your skin.